Do you like a lot of dough on your pizza? Papa John's might be your new pizza papa. What's going on my little piglets? It's your BFF Pork Shop here and I'm coming at you with another food review. I am here to do another pizza review, except this is the first time I'm doing it at Papa John's. Getting another notch in my pizza belt with Papa John's new pan pizza. See, I ordered online, and since I live in the Texas Panhandle, I got 40% off because Texas Tech won yesterday. I'm an Aggie fan, but I'm an Aggie fan that's reaping the benefits of Texas Tech winning. So, <laughs> this came to $13, but with the discount, I got it for around eight. There it is, look at the box, there we go. It's actually a pretty cool box. Join the team. I used to work for Papa John's about two years ago, and I left after two months <laughs> because of reasons. Have not had Papa John's since I left. Let's see if I can get this open without dying. Here we go. Papa John's pan pizza. It comes with the garlic sauce, as well as the Peppercini. I kept forgetting these whenever I worked at Papa John's. I got yelled at so many times because I forgot these like multiple times. And I'm like, that's the whole reason people come to Papa John's. That's because it's our personal thing. I'm just gonna set this right here. And then the garlic sauce. I'm just gonna drizzle this on the pizza. I can just drizzle this stuff on the pizza. So now it's got that garlic sauce on there. Got a couple of napkins because I have a brain. So here's the pan pizza. See, look at that thick. Thick crust. So without further ado, let's dig into this. The only pan pizza I think I've ever had is from Pizza Hut, and that's when I was a little kid. If any of you guys remember the AR reading, where you have to read like a certain amount of books and you get prizes back in elementary school. I read so many books that I got a free personal pan pizza from Pizza Hut. So I think that's the last time I had a pan pizza. Look at the inside of that, look at that crust. Look at the dough, that's a lot of dough. It kind of tastes like that the cheese melted into the dough. If that's what they're going for, they nailed it. Let me take a bite of the crust. I'm usually the guy that peels the pepperonis off and eats them individually so that they can feel special in themselves. Glad I got this at a discount though. So let's do one thing I like, one thing I didn't like. One thing I like about it is everything fits together fine. Even some of that garlic sauce on top added a little bonus. If you like a lot of dough on your pizza, Papa John's might be your new Pizza Papa. I'm glad that they decided to do pan pizzas because this is awesome. One thing I don't like about it is this pizza came to $13. If it weren't for the discount, I probably wouldn't have gotten this. I'm kind of a penny pincher, kind of a cheapskate. I'm kind of like Jack Lemon from My Fellow Americans. <laughs> I guess that's one way to describe me, which is funny because we're both Republican. If you got a little money to spend, go for it. If not, I would probably just go to Pizza Hut. It might be the same price. I don't know, it's been years since I've had a pan pizza. What is your rating for Papa John's pan pizza? Because on a scale of one to 10 piglets, I'm gonna have to give this a seven out of 10 docked because it's $13 for this. So guys, thank you all so much once again for dropping by. If you're not a piglet, you'd like to become a piglet, hit that subscribe button right there to become a piglet and stay charged with my videos. You can also go like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and Snapchat. All those links are down in the description. Leave me recommendations where you want to see me eat as always and you could get a shout out. As always, my little piglets, Colin Porkchop loves y'all the most. So y'all take it easy guys. I'll see y'all next time. Bye guys.